Hey guys, welcome to another Gooby Rock video. I cannot believe it. I simply cannot believe it. 05 has mounted a massive comeback. It's like a comeback story akin to Rudy. 07 was built to this circle. They had almost completely encircled the circle. Uh, that's a funny pun. And they built all the way out here to here. They were building to the next circle. And I had lost all hope for 05. It seemed like they had just crawled up into the into the field position and given up. But I log in today to check because I've been getting a lot of messages from 05. And 07 is getting their asses kicked. Severely. And on this side of the map, 07 is building into the zone 5 of their ally who apparently lost their two circles to 05 so 05 is in position to get a lot of rewards and 07 is just allowing their ally to die look at all this dead territory it's shocking. I'm in shock. 05 is making a serious comeback. Right here? This is the queen of 07. And she's offline in a war zone. And the flags that her city is on are burning. And there's not a single 07 in, in sight. In chess, you do not give up your queen for nothing. In this case, 07 is playing checkers and 05 is playing chess. They're taking the queen. I never thought this would happen. I thought 05 had forfeited. And in the last days of KVK, they're coming back. And they're going to get more rewards. When this flag burns and this flag burns... They'll be able to burn this flag. Actually, oh my god, that flag isn't completed. Oh my god, they're going to zero the queen of 07 right now. Oh my god. No way. I tuned in at the perfect time. Oh my god. The queen of 07. Wow. I've never seen something so anticlimactic. Wow. That's the most annoying thing ever. I was salivating for that moment. And I know, I know 05 was as well. Nonetheless. Nonetheless. This is an incredible comeback story. They were going to lose all of their circles. And if they lost their zone 5, they would lose this zone 6. Then they would lose this zone 6. Then they wouldn't have been able to get this zone 5. 07 is sleeping. 07 is is a behemoth with a 90 million whale with an infinite credit card who is incredibly awful at the game but we'll put that aside I'm in shock and I think 07 is in shock as well I mean how can 07 come back from this will 05 push into zone 7? Are we seeing the counter offensive of our lifetimes? I certainly hope so. With what I've seen today, 07 deserves to lose the ziggurat. I don't know if 05 has time to get it. It's a lot of building. It would take a lot of fighting. And they'd have to they'd have to break through the pass. And there's a lot of 07 here. If they break through this pass though, the city zeros are going to be juicy. 
They have no confidence. Look at all the bubbles. They're broken. Their credit cards are maxed. They're letting their ally die. It's incredible. I'll be back when something cool happens. I know that something cool is coming. I'll be back in a few. I'm back for a minute. I'm trying to figure out what the hell is happening. And the queen of 07 is bragging about getting away. Ann U.M. is dancing. She's like the, the recruiter for 07. But can someone explain to me the 07, 06 situation? Did 07 forsake 06? 07 says, I don't think so. Olympias is nervous. NUM is nervous. 07 says, 05 did all the trash things. This didn't translate. 07 hit 06 back. I don't know what's going on there. 05 says, 07 is for 07, always has been. The queen says 05 destroyed 08 and 06 from the inside. Yes, King Rocky destroyed 08 and 05. Yes, claiming they want to help. Played 05 and 08 before coming here. I don't even know that's possible. I mean, I really don't know how that's possible. So, you joined 05 or whatever. And you didn't like that kingdom. So you hopped. You're on a 30 day cooldown. Didn't like that kingdom either. Hopped. Now you're in 07. I mean, pick a frickin' kingdom. Am I right? You understand 05 bribed the king of 08, destroyed the kingdom, and flew away to 05. And now for the whole KVK1, he was online for 30 minutes. What? <laughs> What what on earth is happening in this region? <laughs> Bro, what on earth? I, I'm gonna I'm gonna do some more conversation, get some Sherlock Holmes detective work in, and I'll be back. So the 07 recruiter says, you understand 05 bribed the king of 08, destroyed the kingdom, and flew away to 05, and now for the whole KVK1, he was online for 30 minutes? <laughs> what, the, what on earth is happening in this region? Just the usual... So good move, 05. Burn the kingdom, 08. Take a whale that doesn't play and make enemies that way. So I guess there's some 05, 08 drama. I guess that explains why 08 was 07's ally, I guess. I'm trying to get myself caught up on the lore here. 05 is the most stick kingdom I played. 05 or clown says this chat is better than all the fights in the KVK. These people were from your region. Now that adds a layer of uh, incredibleness to this. I love it. Of course my region is to blame. Of course. Why would it not be my region? Why am I not surprised? Apparently, pr apparently, practically all the important bad guys from 05, Rocky and Swerve. I've never heard of Rocky and Swerve. They're probably from Kingdom 3103 or 3104. If they're a bad guy, I'm not a betting man, but if I was, it's from 3103. They're surely not bad guys in, o in 04. King lied and he played a few days and now he is the hero of 05. He's the king.
He saved 05. And then 05 says he did save 05. What's your problem? T1 and Queen with 172k siege in her city defense. That's kind of embarrassing to me. I probably shouldn't show my troop count, but I'm going to train a bunch more anyway, so I don't really care. I have 300k T1. So I I feel personally attacked, honestly, with that. But we'll move on from that. Do you know what this man does? He's just a despicable and desperate player. He likes attention and insulting women. So I guess for the 30 minutes that he logs in, he just like starts insulting women. I don't know what he says about women. I'd like some examples of this. I'm I'm just trying to be a journalist here. No, please explain it to me. I'm pretending I'm a journalist writing an article. He's got an account from T5. He plays on it and doesn't respect soldiers. And because of him, free to play players won't have troops in KVK too. Honestly, that is true. That that is true. Um, O5 did suicide a lot of their players. A lot of their cities burned because uh, of leadership decisions. <laughs> Too bad you're not in our area. I could write a whole book. I really wish you would. I just want to read it all. Free to play don't got troops for KVK too. Oh five can write a history book. Let's wait on a KVK and migration. Frankly, I'm dying for migration to open up for this region. I'm not gonna lie. We have a lot of people coming from this region. And we have a lot of people coming from the next region over. Everybody really wants to be in O2 right now. We're just kind of hanging out, having bikini parties, smoking weed and drinking beers, and just enjoying all this drama in the, in the next region's over. I mean, even our own region has a lot of drama. Actually, she is correct here again. You'd be surprised he's leaving with O5. Not going to lie, <laughs> um, a lot of 05 are coming to us, but what she doesn't know is a lot of 07 are coming to us, and what 09 doesn't know is a lot of 09 is coming to us, and 10, and 11, and 12. Uh, with all of the failure that we've witnessed comes a lot of benefits for 02. Everybody's just like, fuck this, I'm out of here. What's the next best kingdom in our KVK region? It happens to be O2 at this point. I mean, we're stacked. I mean, we're really stacked, like a, a Jenga tower stacked. But like, one of those human-sized Jenga towers? We're a human-sized Jenga tower, and the other kingdoms in this, in this continent are like the, the mini ones. That's the end of the video. I'm going to leave it on that analogy. Thank you guys for watching. I'm, of course, going to continue to watch the last three hours of this KVK to see if anything else happens. And apparently there's going to be a war, a, a civil war in 08. It started in Lost Kingdom, but everybody's city is safe on territory, so it didn't really kick off that much. But right after KVK ends, I'm going to keep my eye on 08 and look for a civil war. But hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like comment, subscribe, and I look forward to catching you guys in the next video.